Now that you've completed watching the CINAHL companion video, it's time to move on to the last outcome for today's lesson. How to create a reference and an in-text citation for a resource. Let's talk about quoting, paraphrasing, and summarizing. It's important not to plagiarize when you're taking information from sources. Conestoga's writing service offers several guides that may help you with quoting, paraphrasing, summarizing, avoiding plagiarism, and much more. Let's look closely at how to credit your sources using citing and referencing. On the left-hand side, you'll see citations that are found throughout the paper. On the right-hand side, you'll see an example of a references list at the end of the paper. When writing a research paper, you must always insert in-text citations within the body of the paper every time you take information from a source and utilize it in the paper, even if you're paraphrasing the information into your own words. When you insert an in-text citation into the paper, it must refer to the full reference at the end of the paper. This is how your instructor can trace back the sources that you utilized when doing your research. You always must cite your sources. Remember to cite any sources from which you have quoted or paraphrased information. The APA at Conestoga Resources will show you how to create your references and in-text citations. The tools in the Library Search tool include a Cite button, which will give you an APA reference for the source. This reference will not completely match APA at Conestoga, so if you copy this reference and paste it into your document, you'll still need to edit it to match APA at Conestoga. To find the APA at Conestoga website, Google APA at Conestoga Library. Look for the lib.conestogac.on.ca link. The APA at Conestoga website provides extensive information on how to cite and reference in APA style. In the Reference List section, you'll find information about citing many different source types. In order to reference a source properly, you'll have to determine what type of resource it is. The Time Management for Nurses article has many of the key features of an academic journal article, including references, few illustrations, and a fairly lengthy read time. When we browse to the APA at Conestoga referencing a journal article section, we see a formula is given. This shows us the various parts of the reference that we have to include to create a full, accurate APA reference. You can see that we must include the author, the year, the title of the article, the title of the journal, the volume, issue number, page number range, and DOI or URL. A DOI is a digital object identifier that is often given to academic journal articles and books to uniquely identify it. Not all academic journals and books include a DOI. I'll talk about how to find it in a moment. For articles from a library database with no DOI, do not include a URL. Include the URL if the source was accessed from a website other than the library website. Here's the article details of Time Management in Nursing, Hour of Need. We can find all of the elements of a reference that are required to create an APA style reference right on this article details page. First of all, we see the authors listed. We also see the title of the article. The source row indicates the title of the journal, in this case an abbreviation of that title, the year it was published, the volume and issue number, the page range, and, and the number of pages that that range includes. When we look down below, we don't see any information about a digital object identifier which means this article just doesn't have one. Let's try this next activity. Build a reference. Go to the link listed 
In a separate browser tab, open the APA at Conestoga website and go to the reference list, journal article section. Using the detailed record for the article we're looking at, fill in the blanks to create a reference. Check your reference. Now that you've attempted to create a reference for the article, let's review how it should look. First of all, make note that the reference is double-spaced, and also the second line and any subsequent line has a hanging indent. The reference starts with the author's name, last name first, followed by their initials, the date in brackets, the title of the article, the title of the journal, italicized, the volume of the journal, italicized, the issue number in brackets, and then the page numbers. Because this article was found in a library database, we're not including the URL or a DOI, because in this case there was no DOI available. We use the reference list section of the APA at Conestoga website to learn how to build a reference. Now let's look at how to create a citation in text using that section of the APA at Conestoga website. There's plenty of information here to help you figure out how to create an in-text citation in any scenario. The basics are, anytime you utilize information from a source, be it a direct quote or a paraphrase, you must include three elements. The last name of the author, the date that that information was published, and the page number. Try this activity, building an in-text citation. Create an in-text citation for the following quote that comes from page 1998 of the article. Note that I've also included the reference to the article down below. so you can quickly get the details you need. Now that you've tried that, check your in-text citation. You can see that at the end of the quotation, I've included in brackets the author's last name, followed by a comma, the date that the article was published, followed by a comma, the letter P with a period representing the word page, and then 1998, which was the page that this particular quotation came from. I've ended the brackets, and then ended the sentence. 